This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you for DraftKings for sponsoring this one and all the breakdowns they sponsored throughout the season. You guys are the best. Bo Mel, his manager's going to walk out like, what are you guys doing? They're like, well, they want us to check on him because his ear's super shiny, and he says some spin rate stuff. And he's like, yeah, check on me. Sure. Yeah, have at it. Take my glove. And then his glove gets cheered, and look at this little smirk. You fools. You idiots. My glove's fine. And then his ump says, I'm going to have to touch you, too. Is that all right? He's like, yeah, have at it. Grabs his ear, puts his fingers together, and goes all in on this ear, man. Oh, man, all in on that ear. And a little, little, nice little love tap on the side, man. He's looking at him like, what are you doing, dude? This is the same ump that had to touch Scherzer's sweaty hair. These, bye, goodbye, oh, my God, they're going to kick him out. No, they cleared him, you fools. And Bowman says, you got to check his guys, too. You better check his guys, too. And Manny looks at his old manager, Buck, he's like, you fool. And Buck's like, uh, really? Antonio Brown is upset about something, and he's saying, screw this, I'm out of here. He's taking the pads off. Evans is trying to talk him out of it, being like, no, come on, dude, it's all good. He's like, nope, taking my pads off, I'm leaving. But, okay, a little bit of difficulty. Yeah, don't film me right now. Okay, got him, got him, good. Here, take those, I'm out of here. Meanwhile, Brady and his teammates are running a play. He looks at the field, he's like, I'll stay on the sidelines, I guess. They're going to run their second and eight play. I'm going to show off my abs. I don't want this shirt either. Someone probably wants it. Here. You guys take it. The glove, I don't want that either. Meanwhile, snap, Brady throws it over, and they're going to get stopped. They lose yards. And you can see he kind of looks over, let's see, right there. He looks over. He sees the plays winding down. He's like, all right, I can go on the field now. Whistle's blown dead on the field. No one really cared that he was throwing the shirt or anything. And now he's on the end zone, and the fans are kind of figuring it out. And he's like, yeah, yeah. It is me. What up? Peace. See you guys later. Thanks for coming out tonight. And then the third story comes from Brown himself, who says, I knew the game was still going. I left because I'm super gremlin. So that's what really happened. I like the fact that he that he has to clarify. I knew the game was still going because he thinks people, <laughs> he thinks that people think that he's that dumb that he didn't even know the game was going on. <laughs> He thinks that some people <laughs> thinking maybe he thought the game was over. <laughs> He's just leaving. So he had to clear that up. Like, no, I knew the game was still going on. Game's going to end. They're losing. They've lost. It's frustrating. He's frustrated. He's going to try and tackle the ball. Gets called for it. Boots it into the crowd. Says, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. Ref comes over to give him a yellow card. And he feels so bad. He's going into the crowd to apologize, I'll show you the kick. It's pretty violent. It's like not really a laughing matter at all. But what's funny is that the brother of the girl who got hit in the head is like, no, we don't accept your apology at all. And he scarfs him. And I just never seen a guy get scarfed. You're a professional player. Nope. Nope. I'm just trying. Nope. 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 Off. Off you go. You hurt my sister. And I don't, I'm, oh, get out. Off. Next pitch, fastball again. Above the zone, he hammers it. Everyone reacts like it's foul. It looks like it's foul. These guys in the crowd are like, foul ball. No, 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 no. But the umpire says home run. Schwarber stays around by the catcher. He's like, I think they got that wrong. Well, then I was like, yeah, I think they got wrong too. Kind of everyone else in the whole entire world who watched it on TV and at home said foul besides the one guy whose sole job it was to call it correctly. He called it wrong. And how often do you see a guy hit a foul ball home run and then hit a home run? Well, is today the day? Puts a charge into the next fastball. Oh, drops short on the track. Ready? This is the whole crew in Philly all celebrating. Going crazy, hands up in the air, celebrating. It's traveling, it's flying. The camera angle shows it as a home run, and then, oh no, hearts break. Go! 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 Fuck you! <laughs> Go! Fuck you! <laughs> Good reaction. All right, this guy, he's excited. His two friends are going to piss him off here. Watch. He's excited in the middle. His friend on the left has his mouth covered. The other friend is going to start taking off his jacket. So they turn their head to celebrate with him before they watch it. See? On the left, he's turned his head. On the right, he starts ripping off his jersey to celebrate. So neither are watching. And then he's in the middle like, dude, guys, no, hey. 
yo, he caught it. He caught it. Stop. And they're like, oh, shit. So the first pitch of the at-bat, 99 miles per hour. See ya. Grand slam. He scores. He says, shh. You know, shh. It's not over yet. It's just a tie game. All right? Be quiet. Then he throws his, I'm that motherfucker. I'm that motherfucker. Tosses his helmet, high fives galore, just screaming at everybody. I'm that motherfucker. I'll be that motherfucker for all you motherfuckers. I'm that motherfucker. Last out of the inning, bases loaded the other way, two outs, and he makes the scoop and the stretch. They get out of the inning, which brings him back up with two on in the 11th inning and two outs, and then the next pitch, bam, another home run, a three-run shot, round in the bases. God damn it. Fuck! Screaming. Why'd you make me do this to you? Why'd you do it? I want all the fucking smoke. I want all the smoke. And luckily, we have this fan who was recording on his cell phone. He posted it to Twitter. And we have the audio and the video. Here you go. You know, so that's just a guy who wants all the smoke. Now, this guy is also Australian. His name is Sams. I made a breakdown of a crazy catch he had in the Big Bash League, and I like him. But he's going to get absolutely lit up by his countryman, Pat Cummins, in this turn of six balls. Like, that's a bomb. Now, this one, look at that. So he tries to bounce it real uh, short distance just to kind of make him feel uncomfortable and make him move a little bit, and he's like, don't worry, I'll just hit that that way. He's using the full field. Now he's on the other side, full distance, and we're going to get a really cool catch here that doesn't count, but you have to see this. I'll tell you why it doesn't count afterwards. You cannot be in contact with the ball and touch that boundary or be behind it at all. So he catches this, but he cannot have his momentum taken backwards with the ball in hand. So he throws it up before he touches the ground, gets his foot, his footing, jumps back over the boundary and catches it. Now that's a, a catch that would have been out. Pat Cummins would have been done. But because the the pitch was above his waist, it is considered a no ball. And a redo. So the badass catch did not count, which is unfortunate. Line ref, and he's holding the back of his head, rubbing it like, what the hell? And here's what happened. You can see it come from the crowd, and bam, splashes, hits him right in the head. We're going to find this guy. All right, here we go. So I blurred out the two sections where it came from and then where it hit him. And you can see the guy who threw it. Let's get a little closer. Okay, we got a circle on him. You're going to see the motion, uh, the throwing motion right there. You can see the throwing motion right there. Okay, we see it again. So that's the guy that threw it, but that's blurry as hell. Now, we're going to use context clues to figure this out. Next to him, we have a scarf right here. We have a white mask, a blue hoodie over here. We have a white undershirt here and on the left a white undershirt as well and bam got him scarf mask blue hoodie white undershirt white undershirt there he is detective work done we done solved it that's the guy fourth and seven he throws it to number four he gets tackled he's down and they're gonna mark it here and this is where it gets really Funky. So let's slow it down. And where would we mark it? Obviously, we only have one camera angle. The ball's on his right side. If his knee is down there, you're probably looking at, if that's the 10, 11, like the 12-yard line. If his knee wasn't down and he rolls, then maybe it's the 11-yard line. It's definitely not further than that. So watch this. It's pretty wild. They're like, all right, let's stretch the chains. So the guy with the the chain, he's like, stretches him as far as he can. And, okay, that's going to be short by a little bit. And look at the ref. He grabs it, 
So first he grabs it, moves it closer. The chain's not even taut now. <laughs> then he grabs the ball <laughs> and inches it, and he's like, yep, first down. Now the best part is the other team is scouring over, watching over his shoulder like they're on the ball. It's not like they're not watching. And look at number 52's reaction. I mean, look at all the reactions when he moves it and moves it. Green gloves go up in the air, and 50's like, what? And this ref is just, uh, okay then. First down. And there you have it. This breakdown brought to you by DraftKings. Appreciate them as always. Have a great end of your year, however you celebrate.